Now we are going to see fill in the blanks. This is one liter can fill dash glasses of 200 ml each. That is one liter. Okay, one liter. Uh, what is this? This is a jug. Okay, one liter jug. So fill one liter can. Otherwise, jug or can can water maybe can fill dash glasses glasses of what is the question 200 ml each this is the question see how many 1 2 3 4 5 each glass this is a what 1 liter that is 1000 1 liter is equal to nothing but 1000 ml 1 liter is equal to what 1000 ml 1000 ml can 1000 the 1000 ml is equal to what 1 liter 1 liter can can it's a can fill dash glasses of 200 ml each so these each glasses how many glasses one two three four five glasses these five glasses fill 200 ml of what water or milk okay to have what anything you can take okay 200 ml of water or 200 ml of milk each that means how many that is how many glasses how many glasses so one glass two glass three glass four glass five glass so each glass okay each glass fill how much uh, amount of what um, how much amount of what milk or water 200 ml of 200 ml of what 200 ml of milk or water fill in this glass okay so first glass 200 ml second glass also 200 ml third glass also 200 ml and fourth glass also 200 ml and fifth glass also 200 ml so 200 plus 200 400 400 plus 6 uh, 200 600 600 plus 200 800 800 plus 200 is nothing but 1000 so five glasses so how many glasses five glasses okay that is 1000 ml otherwise we can call it as one liter can fill five glasses of 200 ml each that means each glass has 200 ml of milk okay this is a what a thousand liter thousand liter or thousand not thousand liter thousand ml or other, otherwise we can call it as one hundred one thousand ml is nothing but what one liter thousand ml not thousand liter sorry thousand ml thousand ml is nothing but thousand milliliter thousand milliliters you can call it as one liter thousand ml is equal to one liter so one liter can fill five glasses of 200 ml each that is the meaning okay that means uh, each 200 glass that is sorry each 200 ml of milk in the five glasses that is the exact meaning okay so five glasses are there so each glass okay 200 ml of milk filled 200 ml of milk filled in each glasses how many glasses totally five glasses so you can add or else you can multiply so i'm just adding is simple because 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus what 200 plus 200 ml so 200 plus 200 400 400 plus 200 600 600 plus 200 800 800 plus 200 is nothing but 1000 ml or else 1 liter that is the answer so 1000 ml is nothing but 1 liter can fill 5 glasses of 200 ml each this is the right answer for the question next one is 1 liter 1 liter can fill 4 cups of dash ml of each 1 liter fill 1 liter can this is also a kind of a can 1 little cup as a big cup whatever you can consider 1 liter can fill 4 cups of dash of each okay 1 liter is how much you know that if you convert into milliliter that is I know you know that very well 1000 ml 1 liter is what 1000 ml so each glass is okay that is 4 cups in Kurdhukanga that means what is the given 4 cups is given so one liter can fill four cup of they are given four cups one cup two cup three cup four cups they are given four cups so they, are, they mentioned the what they mentioned the what uh, measurement also in these cup in each cup okay this is a one liter can and then these are the so one liter water is poured in they split into four uh, cups okay a juice or milk or coffee whatever you can take it no issues so one liter can so one liter can of what water so it's split into four cups so each cup that means each cup hold how much of water 
uh, how much of milk how much of juice this is the question so one liter can fill four cups is clearly given because it's four cups and also the mention the what measurement also in each cup what is the measurement that is nothing but 250 ml so 250 ml first cup second cup also 250 ml third cup also 350 ml fourth cup also 250 so 250 250 500 500 plus 250 that is 750 750 plus 250 that is what thousand so one liter can fill four cups of 250 ml of each this is the right answer so you will write one liter can fill that is four cups of 250 ml of each this is the right answer so one this is 1000 ml i just want to tell you 1000 ml is divided by how many cups this is a full can so one can it is 1000 ml contain only one can so how many cups four cups if 1000 is divided by 4 you can get what 250 if you want divide you can divide 1000 okay 4 okay what is this 2 times 8 and 10 minus 8 you can get 2 so bring the 0 so 2 0 20 is greater than 4 so 20 is going to divide by 4 you can get 5 so 20 minus 20 you can get 0 the remaining zeros go to the what quotient place quotient place so 250 is the right answer this also one method but this is a senior class method generally they gi clearly given in the each cup they clearly given in the each cup 250 ml just they want to confuse you have to what clearly understand the question and you have to find out the answer and fill in the blanks that is the major what major trick is there so one liter can fill four cups of 250 ml of each this is the right answer the third question is one liter can fill dash bottles of the dash ml of each so that is what one liter can fill dash bottles of dash ml of each. this is a one liter bottle one liter water bottle or one liter one liter can or one liter water bottle something else you can take it no problem this is and they are given two and, uh, and next they are given two diagrams of bottles each diagram is a 500 ml okay this is a one liter water bottle the next they have given two diagrams that is two diagrams is nothing but a bottles in and each bottle they stick that is they stick they have written or stick what 500 ml 500 ml in each bottle 500 ml each bottle 500 ml okay so one liter can fill dash two bottles of that is two bottles of dash bottles means two bottles of 500 ml each so one liter is nothing but what 1000 ml you know that very clearly so 1000 ml is going to split how 500 ml 1000 ml is going to split how could you split 500 ml then 500 ml okay so 500 plus 500 what you can get 1000 ml so one liter nothing but 1000 ml of a can this water is going to split into two bottle so each bottle contain how much 500 ml okay 500 ml the one answer another is a two bottle what is this how many bottles two bottles 500 ml of each and two bottles is the right answer the first one is two bottles and second is 500 ml this is a right so first two bottles you have to write next answer is you can write 500 ml each okay this is what and the next one is nothing but okay this is a one liter can fill dash mugs of dash mugs of 100 ml so how many mugs you just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 answer is 10 mugs how many mugs 10 mugs so each mug contain 100 ml of what 100 ml of coffee or tea whatever it may be which is your favorite which is your convenient even juice you can take it this is a one liter mug or one liter can so this is full of what water or full of coffee or full of tea or full of milk it's con in this one liter what mug uh, fully so one liter mug completely or a fully can fully what filled with fully one liter can or one liter mug completely or fully filled with the milk how many milk how how much of milk is contained here it is 1000 ml that is called as one liter now we are going to 
split into how many how many marks 10 what 10 marks how we are going to split into 10 marks so each mug hold how much this is the question so each mug is 100 ml each mug contain 100 ml so 10 mugs contain 10 mugs contain of 1 liter of water or 1 liter of juice or 1 liter of milk so each mug contain what 100 ml of milk or 100 ml of water so which is your favorite uh, you can take it this is 1 liter what 1 liter can or 1 liter big cup it contain 100 ml of water or milk or whatever may be so it's going to split into 10 mugs so each mug contain 100 ml so that is the answer 1 liter can fill 10 mugs of 100 ml okay so one mug that is this is a mug you can consider so this is a mug okay you consider this is a mug or cup whatever it is this is 100 ml okay this is a 100 ml this is 100 ml this is 100 ml so how many mugs like this 10 mugs so 100 into 10 you can get what 1000 ml so 1 into 1 you can get 1 how many zeros 3 zeros you just add so 1000 ml is nothing but 1000 ml is nothing but what 1000 ml is equal to what 1 liter so this is the right answer so answer is what 10 so how many mugs in each mug has 100 ml of water and milk content totally how many mugs 10 mugs is the right answer for the question okay now we are going to convert the what convert to centimeter the first question 3 meter is equal to 3 meters going to convert into centimeter so 3 meter means 1 meter is equal to what 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter this is the formula you know that I have written already 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter both are same so here what is this 3 meter so 3 into 100 you can get that is 3 meter is equal to how much meter sorry how much centimeter 300 centimeter so I'll repeat once again that is 1 meter is equal to what 100 centimeter the question is given 3 meter so 3 meter means what you're going to do meter into centimeter you have to multiply meter to centimeter you have to multiply because meter is a larger unit centimeter is a bigger unit so larger to smaller larger to smaller means you have to multiply okay multiply by 100 this is the formula so 1 meter so is convert larger unit to smaller units you have to multiply by 100 so 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter 3 meter is equal to 3 into 100 you can get 300 centimeter the next question 9 meter so you know the same thing here 300 centimeter 300 centimeter suppose this 9 meter means what you going to do 9 into 100 you can get 900 centimeter so 9 meter you can get 900 centimeter then already is 90 centimeters given so 90 centimeter you just add with add this together so what is the answer 0 9 and 9 the answer is 990 centimeter next question 8 meter and 9 centimeter the next question here also so 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so 8 meter means meter into centimeter you have to convert so larger unit to bigger sorry bigger unit to smaller unit or larger unit to smaller both are same so bigger unit to smaller unit so bigger unit to smaller unit so 8 into 100 you can get 800 centimeter so then 800 centimeter you add with what 9 centimeter because already 9 centimeter is given you just add together you can get the answer 9 0 8 so 8 not 9 centimeter 8 not 9 centimeter is a 8 0 9 centimeter is the right answer for the question it is not come it is for some other sum okay so i think so you understand the sum clearly